I'll be more than to do a hot seat over here and within 10 minutes for up? us to peel it away. Do you want to come up and do a hot seat? Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I know. Does everybody, do you understand where I'm going? Do you, okay. Have, have any of you seen self-hypnosis or a power of hypnosis happen on stage? Okay. Yeah. Come on up. She'll do it. There you go. Come on up. Actually, um, what I would, come on up. Sure, she can have the microphone. All right, so before I start, Rose John, have a seat. This wasn't planned. No. This was not planned. No, before, before we even go there, that's why I want to do a disclaimer. Are you comfortable? Yeah. You're okay? Yeah. You're not nervous? No. Okay, I want to do a disclaimer. You've had experience with me, but not with me yourself. Yeah, I have with you. Right, yeah. but many, many years ago, it's not like today, I was not, this is not planned. Well, this is not planned. <laughs> <Ten years ago. laughs> okay, so do you remember why you came 10 years ago and if this is the same thing or different? No, it's different. Right, okay. So we all evolve from the moment and everything. So may I have, uh, well, we can do this. Come closer. We need to be closer. All right. You know, Michael Mesmer does rapid induction, which is, this is literally what rapid induction is. We hold the hand, we off balance the person and we go, are you ready? And we go, sleep, but that's the rapid induction. And I did it very gently. It's usually sleep, right? But this is not what we're doing with Rose. And before I even begin doing anything, I want all of you to hold space for her. Are we good? All right, so turn around. We don't need a mic, okay. Hi. <laughs> so you were talking about something that it's coming on. It's coming. Okay. So give me a name for it. What would it be? Fear. Fear. Okay. So what are you afraid of? Coming back to that. Coming back to that. Binging. binging. And when you binge, what happens? I feel guilty. I feel guilty. Okay. So at what time do you usually binge? Is it daytime? Is it nighttime? In the evening. In the evening. Okay. Is it usually when everybody is gone to sleep? No. Okay. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. So you're in your comfort zone when you are binging. Yes. Okay. And you said this has been coming on about two years. I've been good for two years. And now it's coming back. Okay. So what does it, I've been good, mean? I didn't feel like benching. I was taking care of my health. I was doing very good. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like benching. I was happy. I was happy. What the results I was getting. Okay. Was what, what was the result you were getting? Um, I started having more clarity. Mm -hmm. um, my weight started coming down. Okay. Okay. All right. So my weight was coming down. Okay. How much weight did you drop? Over 60, pounds. 60 pounds of weight came off. <laughs> right? How did you do it? Exercise every day? Walking every day. Walking every day. Stretch okay. Eating extremely healthy. Extremely healthy. And then? Okay, and life was wonderful. Life was great. You life were happy. Life is still great. Okay. Except for that moment. The moments when I eat. That's because of that's where everything started from. Because of that, I feel like. What is that? I had a cancer scare. I had a cancer scare. Breast cancer. Yes. Scare. Yes. Are you still scared? 
No. Well, of course. If I feel like if I eat any sweets, sugar is gonna be the food, then it, it might come back. It might. It. It's not going to. It might come back. Yeah. So that's what you're afraid. Of. Did you recover from your breast cancer? Yes, I did. And you I'm were happy? I'm free. I'm, I'm cancer-free, right? Okay. Did you hear yourself? I am cancer-free. And yet, I am afraid. What are you afraid of? It's my old habits. I don't want it to be the back there again. So, do you believe eating the sweets is going to bring it back? Well, it might grow another cell because sugar is food to cancer. Okay. What I've taught, been taught. Okay. What else are you afraid of? Just that. Just that? What happens if you get the cancer? I'm scared of dying. Sure. Thank you. And not being there Thank for my you. Children. Thank you. So that's what I'm afraid of. Yes. I'm not afraid of the cancer. No. I'm afraid of the dying. Yes. Do you believe you're going to die? No. We're all going to die. Well, later, not now. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. Rose, we don't know. Now you don't know. Say it. I don't know when that is. It could be tomorrow. It could be out of this door. It could be 10 years from now. Would you agree that it can be 35 years from now? That's a good number, right? No. 35 is good. 35 is good? What else is good? You want to see your kids? Yes. When my kids are raised and they're independent. They're on the independent. They're already raised. And where is it that you want to go from here on? What do you want? Feel free, happy, yes, happy. just like the other one, yes. with no guilt. Exactly. Okay. So is it okay for you to eat just a little bit instead of binge eating? Would that be okay? Yes. Right? Yes. Say yes, yes, yes. Yes, One to your body and one to your mind. Yes. One to your body. Yes, yes. One to your yes. mind. And open your heart and say, from this day forward, this day forward I, can I can eat what I want. I can eat healthier. I could eat healthier. Because I have in total control. I have in total control. Okay. Do you have to binge eat? No. Okay. I can eat whatever I want. In small little portions. Small little portions. And, as long as, and as long as I'm honoring my body, I am healthy. I am healthy. So, the hand? Okay, let's do this. Tap, 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 tap. I'm in total control. In total control. And, I and I can handle this. I know my body is safe. I know my body is safe. And, I and I am safe. From this day forward, this day forward I am healthy. I am, I am strong. My body is strong. My body is strong. And honor, I, honor my body. I honor my body. My body is here, body is here to, safeguard to safeguard me, to support me, to, support me. to honor me honor as, I honor as I honor myself. Okay. Now, as you do that, breast cancer, right? Yes. Left, right, right. The doer, the giver, Amen. constantly. Giving, 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 right? Yes. It's this hand. Do it. Get, I gave, and I gave, and I gave, and I gave. And from today on, I'm going to turn that around and say, oops. Okay. Next time, talk to the hand. Next talk to the, talk hand. to the hand. I'm sorry the hand is busy. The hand is, busy. The hand is, mine. The hand is mine over my heart. Over my heart and over my breast, and, over my breast. and it, as I honor myself, as I honor myself. And, I give to me. and I give to me. 
I am safe with my body. No matter what's inside, it's always growing and it's always going. I'm in flow. It came, it went. If it comes, it goes. I am strong. I am loving. I am rose like a petal. I come off. And the stem, I hold on. Because I am that strong. If there is anything that you are suppressing, it's time for you to write it and allow all that to come out. Okay? You can write about your fears. And what is fear? It's false emotions appearing real. It is not real. You can go in this elevator, goes all the way to the 11th floor, come down, look down, and you realize you are safe in that elevator. You're not falling down into the pond with the school of fishes because you are safe where you are. And as a consultant that works with domestic abuse consulting and with women who have gone, and I'm not talking about violence and abuse, self-abuse, as much as we take the abuse, and it can be from the bosses, from the parents, from the relationships, it doesn't matter. But the only thing you have to remember, I have me. And that's the person we never deny. You deny her. And I'm not talking about a little girl, but the inner self. And it can be from any age, 12 years old, not six, 12 years old, 29 years old, 38 years old, 50 years old. It doesn't matter. Make sense? Honor who you are. I am the it. Yes? I love you. <laughs> Okay, give a hand to Rose. So, so have a seat. Does anybody have a question? I want to share something. Hypnosis, we know, it's not the stage. It's not taking you into this deep state of hypnosis and taking you going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. We could. And yet, it can be so subtle. You know where it was? Her saying, expressing the fear factor to the core, and then shifting and knowing that we can go from fear to flow. Once she accepted that, that's where the embraces, the acceptance of it, that she gave herself permission to say, oh, I can do this. The moment we say, I can do this, you have empowered yourself to do so. That's why you don't always have to go into that deep level or four years, five years, ten years. It can be as simple as today. Thank you.